praise break moment. So my praise break moment comes, and I guess it couldn't come at a better day uh, because I was shouted by a friend of mine on yesterday. Some of you all might remember him. Uh, today is actually his birthday, so you can give him a shout out. Uh, deacon Darius Alexander Jones is a deacon of our church. He's my son's godfather uh, and uh, a good friend, uh, a confidant, a good friend of mine. And anyway, we were I was at his house, and of course, we haven't seen each other for a moment because I had some changes go on in my job and, uh, I, you know, some concerns about just the future. And, you know, when things change in your employment, you don't know what to think or what to do. And so he shouted me because he said to me yesterday that no matter what happens, nobody can be you. That's what he told me. He said, yeah, yeah, bro, nobody can be you. No matter what they say or who has the job or who's in charge, business or whatever it may be, he said, nobody can be you. And him saying that took me to a scripture that I want to share for our praise break moment, because some of you all may be where I am right now, dealing with difficulties in life and trying to figure out uh, where, how to navigate. God knows. Out of Exodus 33, uh, chapter 12, I mean, Exodus chapter 12, verse Exodus chapter 33, verse 12, I'll get it out. Uh, you will hear these words. And, and for those of you who can come in on our Wednesday night Bible studies, we are actually studying uh, the book of Exodus. And so uh, this is maybe a precursor for you. But what a text. It says, one day Moses said to the Lord, you've been telling me, take these people to the promised land, but you haven't told me whom you will send with me. You have told me, I know you by name and I look favorably upon you. If that is true, that you look favor favorably on me, let me know your ways so I may understand you more fully and continue to enjoy your favor. And remember that this nation is your very own people, the Lord replied. I will personally go with you, Moses, and I will give you rest. Everything will be fine for you. Then Moses said, if you don't personally go with us, don't make us leave this place. How will anyone know that you look favorably on me and on your people if you don't go with us? For your presence among us sets your people and me apart from all other people on the earth. Here's the shout. The Lord replied to Moses, I will indeed do what you have asked, for I look favorably on you, and I know you by name. Right after that, just to prove to Moses that he knew him and he was going to keep his promise, the word of God declares that God's presence moved past Moses. He could never look at God, but he caught a glimpse of God moving by and the power of the Lord crossed over him. His goodness has passed, passed by Moses and Moses was able to feel him. And that's all I can think of as a shout for somebody is that all of our lives, God's goodness has passed by each and every one of us because nobody can be you. Nobody can be who God made you to be. And he knows each of us by name. And that thing just got me. And I just got a little emotional thinking about it, that all of our lives, when we look back on it, we know that God knows us. He knows what you're going to get into. He knows what you got to come out of. He knows where you're going and he knows how to navigate to get you there. We don't have to worry about anything because of who we are to him. We are God's people. He knows us. We don't have to worry about anything because he knows us by name and his goodness has passed before us many times in our lives. And we can rejoice on the many things and the many ways that he's made where his goodness has passed before us. And that's a shout for anybody. When his goodness passes before us, we know that he is present and an ever-present help in any time of trouble. And before his name's sake, and because he knows your name, nobody can be you. There's only one you. Ooh, that thing got me.